Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather this evening to celebrate this Holy Mass, God looks at us with compassion and love. May we also look at God with fidelity and trust. In a special way, we offer this Mass 
for our brothers and sisters who were severely affected by Typhoon Paeng. May God stir up many hearts to help them, to be generous to them, and to assist them so that they may recover in their lives. We also pray for those who have died. Let us now be sorry for our sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Before the Lord, the whole universe is as a grain from a balance, or a drop of morning dew come down upon the earth. But you have mercy on all, because you can do all things. And you overlook people's sins, that they may repent. For you love all things that are, and loathe nothing that you have made. For what you hated, you would not have passion. And how could a thing remain, unless you willed it, or be preserved, had it not been called forth by you. But you spare all things, because they are yours, O Lord and lover of souls. For your imperishable spirit is in all things. Therefore, you rebuke offenders little by little, warn them, and remind them of the sins they are committing that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all His works. Give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Lord. 
Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, Half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. Mm -hmm. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, looking is a powerful gesture. With just one look, we could convey different messages. Merong mga na in love dahil lamang sa isang tingin. Nagkatinginan, nagkatitigan, na in love na sa isa't isa. Sa isang tingin, makikita natin ang isang taong nagmamakaawa. Sa isang tingin, makikita natin ang saya. At hindi ba nung tayo'y mga bata, kahit gayong tayo'y nakatatanda na, kapag tayo'y magulo, sinusumpong, sasabihin ng ating mga magulang, makuha ka sa tingin. Kapag tiningnan ka ng masama at pinandilatan ka, alam mo na ang ibig, mo, ang ibig niyang sabihin, makuha ka sa tingin. Our gospel story this Sunday is about the power of looking. Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, went up a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus. Gusto niyang makita si Jesus. But if you look closely at the story of our gospel, when Jesus passed by that tree, he was the one who first saw Zacchaeus. Jesus looked up and told Zacchaeus, Come down quickly. I will go to your house today. Jesus looked up to Zacchaeus, and that look was life-changing. That look changed Zacchaeus for the rest of his life. Si Zacchaeo ay nakuha ni Jesus sa isang tingin. For the longest time, Zacchaeus has been looked down upon by people. Maybe because Zacchaeus was really a, sh a short man. He was small. But he was small not only in physical stature. He was small because people hated tax collectors. Galit ang mga tao, ang mga Israelita, sa naniningil ng buwis. Bakit? They considered tax collectors as traitors. Kababayan nila, pero naniningil ng buwis para sa mga Romanong sumasakop sa kanilang bayan. Kaya, taksil. But more than being traitors, tax collectors were well-known, corrupt, and evil people. Nangungulekta ng buwis, dinadaya yung computation ng buwis na sinisingil sa ibang tao para meron siyang bahagi doon sa kanyang koleksyon. Sino ba naman ang hindi magagalit sa mga maniningil ng buwis? And take note that the Zacchaeus was no ordinary tax collector. He was the chief tax collector. Siya ang pinuno. Kaya yung bawat naniningil ng buwis, may porsyento siya. You could just imagine the anger of people against Zacchaeus. Napakaliit ng kanilang tingin sa taong ito. 
Tinitingnan nila ng maliit at binamaliit din nila dahil sa kanyang mga kasalanan. But today, someone looked up to him. Sa unang pagkakataon sa kanyang buhay na minamaliit siya at tinitingnan siyang mababa, may tumingala sa kanya. Jesus looked up not simply because Zacchaeus was up there on the tree. Jesus looked up to tell Zacchaeus, I know who you are. I know your sins. But despite your sins, I could see goodness and greatness in you. Tumingala si Jesus para sabihin kay Zacchaeo, Alam kong marami kang ginawang kalokohan sa buhay mo. Alam na alam ko ang kasalanan mo. At kaya kami namalit ng mga tao dahil sa mga ginawa mong ito. Pero meron kang kadakilaan. Meron kabutihan sa iyong puso na dapat tingalain. At dahil sa pagtingalang yan, Jesus, dahil sa isang tingin, ni Jesus, nagbago si Sakeyo. He welcomed Jesus to his home and he even promised to return to people those that he has extorted from them. Apat na beses kong ibabalik ang ninakaw ko. Pinakita niya yung kanyang pagsisisi sa pamamagitan ng pagbabalik ng kanyang mga ninakaw. Simply because Jesus looked up to Him. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, there are many Zacchaeus in our life, in our society, in our neighborhood mga taong minamaliit. But God has the habit of looking up to those whom others look down upon. That is why in our first reading today, we are reminded that before the Lord, the whole universe, all of us, is just a grain or a drop of morning dew. Tayo daw sa harapan ng Diyos ay para lamang butil, para lamang hamog, na wala naman talagang halaga. But continuing on on our first reading, we are reminded, But you, Lord, have mercy on all, because you can do all things. You overlook people's sins that they may repent. We may be nothing before the Lord, but God looks at us with love. God values us as His children. And St. Paul in our second reading today tells us that we are not worthy we are all unworthy, but God in His mercy makes us worthy of Himself. Ang Diyos gustong-gustong tingalain yung mga tinitingnan ng mababa o yung ang tingin sa sarili ay mababa. Iaangat sila, titingalain sila ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, let us learn that attitude of looking up to people, especially those whose life are constantly being looked down upon. Matuto tayo kay Jesus sa ginawa niya kay Zacchaeo. Minsan yung simpleng pagsasalamat sa isang taong tumulong sa atin, pasasalamat sa isang taong nag-abot ng tubig, sa waiter, sa restaurant, nagbukas ng pinto para sa atin, doon sa elevator technician, elevator person, 
na nag-assist sa atin. Yung simpleng sabi, ay salamat po ah, that could awaken goodness in them. That could enliven them. Mabubuhayan sila dahil tiningala sila sa kanilang ginagawang paglilingkod. Minsan yun lang naman talaga ang kailangan natin. Kasi masanay tayong tingnan ng mababa ang bawat isa. Masanay tayong maliitin ang kakayahan ng bawat isa. At kahit na ng ating sarili. But look up. Look up to people. Appreciate their works. See the goodness in them. And you will see how it will change them. Kaya po sa linggong ito, sana sanayin natin ang ating sarili na tumingala, makita ang kabutihan, ang kagandahan, ang mga mabubuting bagay sa ating kapwa. Lalong-lalo na yung mga ang buong buhay nila ay minamaliit sila. Let us look up and see how that simple gesture could change them. You know, sometimes it also takes just a simple looking up in order to change people. Take note that Jesus did not wait for Zacchaeus to be a good man before he entered his house. Zacchaeus changed because Jesus made the first move of looking up to him and going to his house. Hindi hinintay ni Jesus na maging mabuti, banal si Zacchaeo at pagsisihan ng kanyang kasalanan bago niya pinatawad at minahal. Pinatawad muna niya. Minahal muna niya, pinahalagahan muna niya, at dahil doon, nagbago si Sakeyo. You want to change people? Love them first. You want to change others? Value them first. And change will surely follow. My dear brothers and sisters, for the first time in Zacchaeus' life, someone looked up to him. And that simple and loving look of Jesus changed Zacchaeus. Nakuha siya sa isang tingin. Sana tayo din po makuha sa isang tingin ni Jesus. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, God, in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and, earth, and in, in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of, of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, died and was, and was buried. buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. In the meeting between our Lord and Zacchaeus, we see that the true mercy is the most profound source of justice. We pray as sinners on behalf of sinners, but these prayers express our confident trust in divine mercy. 
For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Catholic Church may continue to welcome those who seek forgiveness and inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who direct business and industry may be generous and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That sinners may be drawn back to the sacrament of penance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be grateful for the grace of forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may know the mercy of the God who created them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers, especially the victims of the recent typhoon. And we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord, you love all things that exist. You reveal your mercy and compassion. Accept the prayers of your penitent people, raised up by a mighty Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us, a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death 
and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly mysteries, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong gabi. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta dito sa Manila Cathedral. Nagpapasalamat din po tayo sa lahat ng kasama natin sa pamamagitan ng live streaming ng misa ito. Thank you for your support to the Manila Cathedral and for being part of our online community. Maraming salamat din sa staff at servants ng Manila Cathedral na naglilingkod sa ating misa ngayong gabi. Ang mga misa po natin sa darating na November 1 at November 2 dito sa Manila Cathedral ay 7.30 in the morning and 12.10 in the afternoon. Maari pa rin po tayong bumisita sa Blessed Souls Chapel ng Manila Cathedral, yung pong ikalawang chapel sa inyong kanan kung saan tayo pwedeng mag-alay ng mga pamisa, magtirik ng kandila para sa ating mga minamahal na yumao. Ang mga pangalan po ng ating mga minamahal na yumao ay isasama natin sa ating mga misa sa unang linggo ng uh, first week ng November. At uh, sana po ay uh, kung hindi man tayo makapunta sa mga sementeryo ngayong November 1 at November 2, ay makapag-alay tayo ng panalangin, makadalo ng misa para sa ating mga minamahal na yumao. At nawa ay pagpalain ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo na haharapin nating lahat. Nawa ay tulungan tayo ng Panginoon para matutong makita ang kabutihan at ang kadakilaan ng bawat isa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessings Amen. now and forever. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words 
that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be be to to God.